Pinterest this morning. Shares are on the move. Now, this comes after the company saying that it is expecting year-over-year revenue growth. During its first investor day this week, Pinterest saying that they expect a compound annual growth rate over the next three to five years in the mid to high teens. We saw the, we saw the reaction on the street over the last several hours, and analysts seem pretty pleased with what they heard from the investor day. The note that sticks out to me here, Brad, is from Evercore. Now, they have an outperformed rating on the stock of $45 price target, so substantially higher to where Pinterest is trading today. But a couple of things that they said, they said that this was one of the more impressive investor days that they've seen. They're seeing a little bit more interest for Pinterest from marketers, from advertisers, which is so key and so critical here for their business. They also mentioned stronger user engagement. They're winning over Gen Z at Target Mm. here that they've been focusing on now for quite some time. They're saying that they've grown that user base by 20%. And then, of course, their partnership with Amazon, obviously helping out just a little bit. I was surprised by Gen Z, though, because when I think of Pinterest, a lot of times I think of moms in their 30s, 40s, 50s that spend a lot of time on Pinterest getting ideas. The fact that they're able to get Gen Z's attention, siphon it away from TikTok and get people to spend more time on that is a massive win for Pinterest. And siphon it away from potentially Instagram too. Instagram is becoming a behemoth of its own. I was looking at a report this morning that's just talking about the growth that Instagram is expected to have as a subsidiary, of course, of the Meta Platform's family of products. At the end of the day, it's really going to be how the searchability allows people to find inspiration that much more quickly for Pinterest to be able to make sure that they are maintaining uh, that mind share, but also that time spent because all of them are competing for competing for time spent on their platforms, keeping users for there longer, finding more inspiration. And then for the marketers to say, OK, now you've been able to keep people on the platform for an extended period of time. It's about, all right how can I layer on my own marketing message? And for the marketing component that you mentioned, I think that's the most important one that you brought up, especially from this Evercore ISI note, saying that the marketer interest in the Pinterest platform is rising here. Um, and that's going to be key to making sure that they're monetizing all of those different international views um, and engagements that are remaining on the Pinterest. I know they don't like to be called a social media company. I'm just going to call them a social media company. They are a social media company. Okay, all right, what cool. What else would you call them? We're in agreement there. Yeah.